What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're doing a crazy idea that might be crazy enough just to work. Uh, the idea is, now Repeat Moss is usually only good with Captain Combustible uh, because he has really good superpowers. Cheap powers that add a lot of attack and make this do a lot of bonus attacks. So what if instead of actually doing it with Captain Combustible, we do it with Green Shadow and we try to conjure said superpowers with the Bird of Paradise. Terrible idea. Uh, but we're basically running a Green Shadow Conjure deck that can use Repeat Moss sort of as a finisher. We are actually even running two Red Planets, so if you can set this up, you can play Repeat Moss into it and then follow up with your tricks. Uh, we are anyway running cheap tricks like Banana Peel. Um, thank you to Sandwich. We got the uh, Grave Mistake, which is going to be flicking Gravestones. Gravestones are really good to put in front of a Repeat Moss. You're very often going to be setting up a Repeat Moss or, you know, the turn before, so you don't want them blocking with a Gravestone. Also running a couple of Great Root Powers. So this actually, if you have Captain Cucumber on the field, the Great Power costs three, but then the Great Responsibility uh, will actually go down to zero cost. So if you have uh, Captain Cucumber on the field, uh, that'll be a cheap combo. You can maybe even get free banana bombs, or uh, anyway, the banana peel can be moving things out of the way. And the superpowers, of course, from the Bird of Paradise are also going to cost less. Uh, you're going to be basically playing this deck patiently, sort of just responding to your opponent. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, taking over in the late game with your Captain Cucumber, whatever this conjures, usually conjures late game cards since they're legendary. Uh, B-Rex should be getting a lot of value since we have so many ways of drawing cards in this deck. Let's see if this can win some games. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the... I didn't put the right deck up on the thing. We gotta, we gotta get the right deck. With the longest name of a deck I've ever, ever, ever in the history of Everness. Uh, we're gonna do normal bets today. If you think this deck, it's somehow... It's subject to change. I'm gonna keep an eye on is there enough early game and... Do we need more? I don't know. If you think this deck will go 8 out of 10 vote, yeah, 7 and 3 or fewer vote. No, we here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash. Um, I wonder if I keep this against a sneaky hero. Sneaky, sneaky. I love the uh, Primal Peace Shooter as a control card. And alright, we'll just keep this. See, anyway, you have him big in the superpowers. You also have Blow, which could be good with Repeat Moss. Let's we'll see what happens. Do, 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 do. Agro Rose went 10 and 0 yesterday. Sorry for spoilers. We'll just stick these. I like the fact that you can play. I didn't want to run Click B. These are just become better in the late game. Maybe I should run Click B instead of um, Lima Pluridon, though. Because Click B really is better in the late game once you get to. We're going to go Captain Jucumber. He's probably just going to leap this now. Usually dry brain vendor on. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Uh, he's running triplication. So we'll have more than enough late game. Um, we could just go for pine clones here. Is it worth it? We can also grave flick. What is the play here? What the hell is this thing? So what, what are the plays? Great flick, we can grow this. We can develop a Bananasaurus Rex. If this is a pogo, this would be good. I can't he would have pogoed last turn though. I don't know what he has. Maybe it's just a surprise guard. Should we just go for pine clones? Let's just go for pine clones, screw it. Three Pine Clones is pretty good for turn four. And it's Yeti. This is fine. Probably should have Grave Flicked. I love how we'll be able to Grave Flick if he plays Mug. We'll, we'll just flick the Yeti. Cool. Got baseball zombie. Watch out, guys. Uh, one three one looks good. Do 
just go one and four. I like this play. Well, bounce and stuff. Wrath. <laughs> That's the guard he got from triplication. Feels bad, man. Bye bye. I think killing that would have been better. Dun, 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 dun. Again, I'm gonna ask people in the chat, please keep the convert general conversation in English, thank you. Possible to moderate otherwise. What is this man doing? What the now we doing? He's playing into our super for some reason. Oh, it's a five and one. So a pretty good turn to start this thing. He has freeze. I should have played this on Pikes. I guess we can just cover it next turn. Super? Um... Free should be fine. <laughs> Want to see Freeze? Uh, Banana Peel can answer the Toxic Waste soon. See that man. Notify. Nice. He actually has stupid cube from where though? He got that from triplication. That was his imp. That's so stupid, bro. <laughs> Yay, fun game. So annoying. We needed the superpowers. I don't know. I guess we go to Fi. Play this. Banana? Banana's nice. Maybe I should go for free banana bumps. I think I know. Instead of the environment. Leaps that to a one drop. Nice. Did not get an imp, thank goodness. <laughs> he freezes that. Okay. Maybe I should have played Captain Cucumber first. Uh, nope. Absolutely not. Three banana bombs. Uh, so we nanner. Well. Man, are you? This looks pretty good. We're just getting frozen all day, every day. We have the Great Flake for when he plays the Yeti. Uh, this 4 2 is a problem. We get a little cheap card. Okay. Oh, here's the cheap card. It costs zero, too. I'll take it. So it's Great Flake, and we'll go from there. Coach. So we can set up a Bananasaurus Rex here. So it's gonna be 4, 5, 6. Should we set up both? Eight? No, then we can't grave flick. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. Like that. Let's see what we get. Black IP. Oh, 
Um, this one? Banana. Brain out. Give him this. I think uh, just chump blocking the three damage since we're getting low on health is good. Don't get a uh, teleportation station, please. That's fine. Ooh, brain animal looking good here. More legendaries. La dee da. Uh, yeah. Just bring Nana plant food this turn. And banana bone. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at the banana surf strikes growing. Insanity. What's that? Wait. Oh, it doesn't show me. It's got so many graves, though. Uh, we need grave removal. How do we do this? Well, Brainana plant food, it's not quite lethal. How do we do this? We're gonna get frozen big time here. So, B Rex, banana. But just B Rex. Brainana. No need to plant food. And we'll banana bomb this guy. Hell yeah. There's a freeze. No! Okay. So we're taking four here. But he froze this one. I mean, we're going for lethal. We have six... Okay, it's not quite lethal. Yeet. Pretty damn close, though. Uh, the, the cleanest lethal would be in lane 4 with the Triceratops. We have Grave Flick, yes! Wow, this is gonna be... <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. He's gotta clog this lane. Usually win in 5, anyway. There's Nymph. Can you not play a Gravestone there, please? This guy only has 2 health, though. <laughs> Very sad. So, we don't have, like, a clean win here. This hits 12. I mean, he doesn't have a lot left. What is he going to do? Bonus attack? Ugh. I guess we should play around bonus attack, right? So, 9... Um, Let's just start with this. Can we please just win? Thank you. <laughs> it took way too long. We won! The saddest wannabe hero in the history of PvZ heroes for the laws. See, plant food in one. I, I know it looks really good protecting Bananasaurus Rex, but... Plant food in one means we die to him having a lurch for lunch. So that's why I went for lane five. Everyone in the chat saying plant food in one. Because if we plant food in one and he... Yeah, his bonus attack will win on the spot. We won't even have a chance for an attack phase. Alright, here we go. Looking for an early game card. Looking for an early game card. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the bird. We need against infinity. This is a very good curve. Ah, uh, this is a good answer to con man on one, so we take that. It just slows him down. He could replay the con man again, but it's all all we're trying to really do here is still. Swashbuckler becomes extra sad. Doesn't want to rave do that again. But it's a we win the trade. Kinda slow. And he can't play deadly or strength that loses the trade. You can wait till next turn and play Bungie, but that's just really Really slow against Cucumber. It's fine. 
We want this to be the, to the left of the B-Rex, also we can protect it with the Super. There's Infinity Bones, okay. Now is he going for Deadly? He might have screwed it up though, he really wanted to hit the Captain Cucumber. He, oh no, he can't have Deadly, never mind. He has Deadly Barrel, that's fine. So he's just spending a lot of resources dealing with the 2-drop. And uh, we are conjuring some OP stuff. Man, that, even just on turn one, the amount of value we got from the Primal Pea Shooter, hell yeah. So what is this gonna be? Could be a flame face. I think we're still gonna go like this. I'd rather the, the, the cucumber head and grow the banana. So he grows by 1-1, one, one. who cares? Hopefully he doesn't block and get like strength here. Strength or deadly would suck. So annoying! <laughs> He's blocking. How, he has 17 health. How the hell did that happen? The man is annoying. And we didn't get our card either. Ugh. I don't actually have an answer to this now. We can go with this play and just play defensive, or we can go for the superpowers. Against Pogo and Yeti. Ah, uh, this play was definitely better. <sighs> Pinary starts. That's fine. So, we, we clear field, and we're also drawing another card here. I love something cheap that we can combo here. In the Cucumber. Or something with some field clear. That is the opposite of cheap. We have great zucchini and cornucopia in our hand. We have to survive until then. Come on, man. Okay, that's nice to get a cheap card here. Another binary, maybe? This guy. What an agender. What guy. Where does this go here? Blind dancing is fine. He's just trying to aggro. Does he have a bungee? They would do a lot. A lot, a lot. Smoke to where? To, to, to there. Okay. This is fine. Imagine blocking. Uh, we get the, well, the superpower, but it costs one. Maybe I should have froze this so we can play another verb here. Why not? Great flick. Expensive turn. Meteor. Nice. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna play super defensive here. It's gonna be you. Uh, meteor. It, it would have been better to meteor this and then breathe that one. But, uh, double bird of paradise. Hell yeah. <laughs> we should have enough superpowers now to control whatever he plays. <laughs> he plays Pot of Silver after I kind of clear his field. He's going for four cards. He only got two. Feels bad, man. And the Birds of Paradise are actually going to take over this game. Hell yeah! We have three lanes clogged against Infinity, and we have answers to Gravestones. We can bounce as many Gravestones as he plays. We can also just Grey Zucchini him at this point. We got time to shine. Now, where's the Repeat Moss? <laughs> oh, heals. Nice. Hell yeah! The heal is so good here. Uh, we could probably just go for the win, right? <laughs> so this is gonna be... How do we win? Doink. <laughs> See ya. Oh no. We're taking damage. This is bad. I don't care. Doink. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be... Geyser. Give us a little bit of leeway. 
We'll give him one of these, and we'll give him one of these for four. Hey, we usually just win. He goes down to one. Nah, yeah, we win. And we rolled a one, too. Got him. <laughs> Bird of Paradise, OP. Y'all know it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I yeah, know we need the Captain Combustible Super. Maybe we'll get that at some point. A smoke bomb could have saved him, man. Maybe. He didn't have. Oh, that's a good starting hand, though. We'll get some stonks. I'll probably just play this on Curve. If he has a Black Eyed Pea. If he has a Rolling Stone, I mean, we sort of want him to take this out. Because we have a lot of cards that die to Rolling Stone coming in. Would a smoke bomb not have worked? Oh, you're right. Cause two plus four would have been. Okay, we got the repeat moss. The games are getting closer. I mean, I don't think this deck is, is optimized, but it's getting the job done. I'm gonna go with this. Where does this go? Uh, on ground, because the Captain Cucumber we really would like to be on heights. Uh, so it doesn't get hit by a black hole or on. Um, or whatever. We kind of have to play around Wheat Spray here. Since he passed the first two turns, if he, if he passes. If he doesn't, we just play. So if he passes, we pass. If he plays, we play. Going for Cat Lady. Here we go. Side to side, side to side. Do 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 do. Oh no. Nuts or berries. We need a leap. Probably nuts or berries. Uh, I'd like the Captain Cucumber to actually draw a card here, so we're gonna put it here. Nuts or berries. I'll probably use the repeat moss to kill this at some point. There's no legendary tricks for plants, are there? That's sad. Four cost. True. So if he doesn't play two plants, the 5-5 five five actually trades well against this. The B-Rex does not. Ah, oh, that also... Well, everything in our hand costs either four or one, so... I'll probably just play the Gloom Shaman one. That's fine, you're playing a 3-2 against a 2-2. Two two. Nice play, bro. We're just gaining tempo now. Might have a, even a lunchbox though, it's still a really good trade in lane one. Camel cross! Oh, come on, man! Okay, it completely makes sense now. We More legies. Still at 14 health. Why are we getting cornucopia? We don't even want nine cost cornucopia. It's not playable, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. There's that. If I remember to replace Lima with Cleek, please, after this game. So we can go four and one. Lima with Cleek, please? I don't know. I'm not sure if that's right. How do we do this exactly? He's gonna play Lunchbox. We could just play these two. We can also bring this in to super it. I think we'll re we'll we'll sort of save this combo. I didn't realize that Green Shadow Super with Banana Peel is so good. I think it's just like this. We'll, we'll save the combo for something that hurts more. La 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 da 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 ba da da. Frenzy doesn't. I mean, it gives it. It gives him it back in his hands, though. But I, I'm guessing he knows what Primal Pea Shooter does. You can literally click on the card, and you're gonna get bounced. Obviously, the bounce happens before the frenzy does. Rolled up one and a two. Really nice. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, Super just wins now. So, unless he puts a gravestone here, we just win with our super. There's some heals. 
La di da di da. Oh, lots of bananas. We can also win with repeat loss. Guys, we're doing it. We're winning with repeat moss combo, and I'm gonna show him that we had the super too. I'm gonna use banana peel. <laughs> Guys, look, look. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Go repeat moss. The saddest repeat moss ever. <laughs> Die. <laughs> we could have just moved the yeti and supered him in the face, but that was way cooler. All right, we're three and La di da di da. Repeat Moth did something. I'm so happy. <laughs> we don't need. We're not gonna have a chance to play the cards that cost seven, eight, nine. Usually, we have so many. We we really want to conjure the cheap ledges. All right, you're gone. It's cool. This is very fine indeed. Love these two cards against the Morticia. Really strong. Uh, we'll play the Black IP first. This can die to alienness. It's not gonna... Just Black IP on Zoom. It's so strong against Morticia. I think we're gonna play this on height so it doesn't get hit by an environment, whatever it's called. Beam Me Up just loses the trade though. It's so sad. So very sad indeed. What does that even do? It gets it down to two health so he can extinction it next turn. Like, who gives a damn? This, if this gets alien news on the ground, we kind of just would rather die anyway. So we're definitely playing the tempo, and what is Trick and Morticia going to be able to do against this field right now? If he goes after the Black IP, that's fine. It means the Cucumber. If he has a Nibble, this would stabilize. Nibble? Nope! That's fine. He ramps, but... Too slow. Ooh, the second Captain Cucumber. We can actually do some weird things with banana peels now. We can conjure all these really cheap guys. I think I'm gonna do the B Rex and what we can we can do this combo like later. Right now the banana source rex is such a huge threat. Thinking K, he's just the slowest guy. He goes cryo brain on on three. Thinking cap on four. That prevents a little bit of damage. We can actually cover that, which is really cool. So it's gonna grow. So we get five damage this turn. Ooh, Starfruit, nice. So the moment he commits, this is in play. We have Starfruit Planet. Grave Flick. We have an answer to like everything right now. Uh, the thing we could use is a Brainana. <laughs> Opponent very likely does not have an environment. Likely does have removal though. I wonder if this red planet is just stupid. It probably is. I think developing another uh, another minion is the way here. So we'll go with this. Because, you know, just a rocket or a locust storm, some kind of removal. We don't want to just buff. You know, the rocket removes this one. It's in the red planet all the same. Maybe setting up red planet's still worth it, though. Maybe. Uh, if this procs the block, we still get 8 damage here. Even though. Never mind. Starfruit, thank you for procking the block. Really appreciate it. The thing that's really good here is the. Uh, is the potato. Gosh, look at this now. The moment we get a card that buffs, it would be really awesome. How do we do this? So this will go up to 6-6. Six, six. We could just trade with the trickster. We also could just go face. We should probably be the aggressor here. We don't really have a... Uh... Should we take another 6? I think us doing 7 is probably better than blocking the trickster. I don't know, though. Let's see what we get. Let's not put that in the strike turn environment. So many bananas. So much banana! Ah, it's just summons. I, I, I should have blocked the trickster in a one, dude. Even bonus attack, it would have prevented so much damage. That was a stupid play. I'll probably end up just blowing this now. 
We're down to 12. Plant food is cool. Or we also have the red planet shenanigans. How do we do this? Just do one of these. This is fine. Plan food. I, I think this makes it worth it now. Really cheap way of targeting the trickster. Get flicked. Super to wear though. He has to go to lane one. That's fine. And he leaps that one. Okay. Fireworks. <laughs> God damn it. Doesn't matter. Okay, so those trade. Maybe we'll be able to pull off the repeat moss come. We just need one damage now though. Really close. Jeez. Actually, um, does Repeat Moss win here? We can blow and then keep on bananing until he shuts up. <laughs> Guys, look at this play. <laughs> Guys, look at this play. Blow. La di da di da. Repeat Moss OP. Nope. Oh. <laughs> didn't even have to play the banana peels. Okay. He dated. He dated. The man, he dated. <laughs> Lucky blow. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what we have. Yay! Yippee ki yay! Bitches! <laughs> we haven't even gotten to the part where we set up the red planet and the repeat boss, but the repeat boss won two games in a row. Let's go! That's a fine hand against the mortician. Oh my gosh. This also answers like teleportation zombie and stuff. We <laughs> We could have done blow first. I just feel like we could have moss blow banana 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 until he dies. You're right. We could have just blown first and then moss banana and banana the lane the moss is in. Yeah, out of the lane. He passes, so we go... Is there any reason we want this on heights? Is he going for an environment or something? I don't know. Yeah, let's move it out of the lane he played it in. Because why not? We're 4-0. Four, no. 4 and 0. <laughs> All these games are like... A little bit close. That's fine. It's still a threat if he goes for tricks. I can back it up. Captain Jucumber. Everyone's low rank because the season just reset. This guy was probably rank 40. That's okay. But it grows the, it grows the black every. We we win that trade. Three cost for three cost our guy grows. Hell yeah. Um I think this is fine. There's no need to, uh... We'll start getting some stocks in right there. There he goes. <laughs> the, the slow plays continue. Playing double cryo brain against uh, this field. Who knows, maybe he'll just bad when rising next turn and we'll lose. He gets that one. Yes. Uh, rolling another one would be nice. Oh, we have, we have Molecule? I think I take it. I think we take those. Yeah, that's pretty good against bats. We're gonna be spending every single every single sun now, so. Aha, uh -huh, sad bats. We still have a four two in the water. And it's still making stonks. And this is a five six, <laughs> which hasn't been able to deal with the black IP. Nice. Um, so bird is good. Banana Sir Rex freeze is really good. Banana 
Peel is good. Oh my gosh, there's so many plays here. I think I'm going to go bird just for funsies. It'll probably help us more in the long run. It's also just another huge threat. I mean, the Banana Sarus Rex does more damage, but... Saddest bats ever. That's okay. He still actually has the Conjure Synergy, so the, 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 the Super Paras are free. Ah, uh, this Black Eyed Pea, he's just playing garbage. The complete garbage deck. Okay, so we got... That's not lethal now, is it? No, it's for one-off. Where's Repeat Moss? We need a repeat. We need a time to shine. Guys, we can get Repeat Moss. We can get it. Should I, like, totally play B-Rex here? Before I hold a Flora, this Banana Rose Rex becomes insane. Um, no. No need. Whee! Dang, we didn't get Repeat Moss. So angry. La di da di da dun da da. <laughs> La di da. It's just complete BM. Such a bad molecule. Ah, we got poppies. <laughs> Everything dies. Everything is okay, guys. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. So we freeze. Death friend? Oh, we freeze. Let's we freeze this one. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got Magic Beanstalk. Nice. Uh, banana peel, because why not? And Magic Beanstalk. Just means if he has an extinction event, we still win here. Yay! He need a leap! He needs Undying Pharaoh. Nope. Not good enough. Not good enough at the game. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, well somehow this deck is 5-0. and oh. We're gonna get another 10-0, oh, guys. Hi, Laura. Yay! Hell yeah. That was complete BM molecule. There was no sense in doing that at all. It made our board a lot worse. It turned the black IP that was a 6-7 black IP. It turned it into a like a guy with one health that just died in the environment. Feels bad, man. We haven't even used this card yet. Looking for early game. We're gonna get rid of Grave Flake against Z Mike too. It's not good enough. Uh Primal Pea Shooter is good enough though. Look at the combo, guys. Look at the combo. I love Primal P on turn one against Con Man. It makes me so happy. Again, it, it you know he sort of gains card advantage, especially if he replays it again in one. But it just slows him down. And that is exactly what you got to do against Did Guy. Did Guy just gotta? What the hell? Do we pass? Do we play into his super? We can just pass here. A pretty cool passing. Okay. Guys, he's going for Mop. He's definitely going to play Mop. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. For real, bro? We actually can't even play the Cucumber anymore. Uh, we'll give him one of these. We need a leap! We need a leap! Do we move... Well... We move like this one and just prevent face damage. We're gonna super one of these. Question is, do we want to move this one or this one? I think keeping this lane clogged is probably good, but it's still around for next turn. P Mobile coming in with a gift sub, thank you. I should have actually. If we get a banana bomb, it's actually a play ball on this one. There we go. 
Just keeping him off the board. Not doing much damage. Bye bye. Somehow at the end of all this, we have even cards with him. Even though we're just bouncing stuff. We'll probably just play bird next turn. We probably don't even play banana peel, there's no point. This is good. It just makes us take two more damage here. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Big. It's a card. It's a cheap way to make a good trade. And... We're taking a lot of damage from these combat. If we start drawing cards, we're gonna take even more. Uh, I think it's just bird in one. Try to weather the storm here a little bit with the superpowers. This is rough, aggro Zemek. That's not it. That's not a good card though. This is fine. CPS second fruit cake. Going viral would be good though. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine blocking this game. We're down to four health now. Actually, three. Actually, two. We're so dead because the moment we draw a card, we lose. This bird is double, double shotting us. We, it's not even playable. Oh. We're so done. We, we, there's nothing we can do. There's no way of not drawing a card. All right, guys, we need great zucchini. No, even if we get, well, we could block. We're going for it, guys. We gotta get cornucopia from Fig. Then we'll be fine. It's okay. That's okay. Come on, cornucopia, let's go. <laughs> it's our only hope. Nope, <laughs> not even close. Ah, it blocks more damage. <laughs> okay, 5 0. It, yeah, I guess a bunch of con men are gonna just beat this deck, huh? Should have gone out on my own terms. Too bad. Maybe Primal Pea Shooter is not the right answer to. I mean, if we would have had twos and threes that can really answer con man like Quillbeat and stuff like this, but really, we don't have any card that actually answers con man. <laughs> I mean, uh, the Captain Cucumber is kind of answered by the comment because we take so much damage. Alright, let's actually make this deck good now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I'm saying? This actually ends up being a really cool answer to Conman if you get two of them. Uh, we'll keep the three repeat monsters, I, I guess. Oh, this is fun. Hell yeah. Alright. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Alright, so once again, the changes we made to the deck is we took out the Lima Pluridons, put in Click Piece, better control card overall, um, and we took out the Great Flicks and put in Cool Bean, just to give us more answers on turn three. Should we like go for the? Should we go for the Repeat Moss thing? <laughs> All right, screw it, let's go for it. You haven't seen me run much fruit cake? I haven't really run much crazy lately, actually. 
Um, in the, during the tournament, I found that, you know, when I was testing, I found that Fruitcake ended up being a lot of liability. That card you conjure for your opponent. I mean, it's still a good card, but I, I feel like that aspect of it is underrated, since a lot of them, you're competing on a really, really, you know, high-level, tournament level. Uh, a lot of games do come down to card advantage. Alright. Pious. We have a superpower for the repeat boss combo. Yeah, guys. Really, he's not that good at removing a 2 3. He doesn't have any extinction event. Like, what is he gonna do? There's a cool me. It just controls us. Imagine if this was Great Flick. We would have been. We would have basically lost the game to this Raptor. Now we have Answer. And Swap. Cool beans. A mini ninja. Okay. So it's gonna be. It's gonna be this. We kill both of his and my B Rex lives. Take it. Why do you find Fruitcake be a liability, not Haunted Pumpkin? I found with both. I found Haunted Pumpkin Partake was, was more of a liability, actually, than, than Fruitcake. Because it's easier to remove. The effects of Fruitcake can't be removed easily off the field. Since they're permanent. It's, it's definitely a different game when you're playing in a tournament, you know? Um, I think we're going for a Peat Moss combo. I really want to actually try this one, so... Very cool. Love the... There's really no one-cost card that answers Primal here. I guess unless it gets blow, that would suck. That's fine. Sad, but we're doing eight. Wee! Yeet! This actually allows us to, to, it buffs us, it also allows us to, um, remove the, the cowboy if he just plays cowboy in one again. It's gonna be super blow. Well. How would we do it? Maybe with cooling? So Super Blow... Just the Repeat Moss doesn't seem very good. Well, we can use it to proc the block. Alright. That sounds good. That sounds quite good indeed. Repeat Moss, super. This Freeze Power will prevent a little damage here. Use Galvanize. Okay. Let's just unfreeze his repeat ones. But this still unfreezes for the first attack and attacks for six. Love to see it. This unfreezes. <laughs> I don't know. If we get a cheap trick, we can do the, the planet combo. Where the repeat mods for the win. Come on, cheap trick! That's the cheap menu. We can just plant food. Usually wins. There's no way to do this, huh? <laughs> oh no. Absolutely not. Let's see if this wins. Spray at it. Even if he blocks, we just click B and one and he's done. There's nothing he can do about it. He don't got no brains. The man don't got no brain. The man don't got no 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 brain. See ya. See ya. It's a guaranteed lethal. No, I don't want to see what comes out of that guard launcher. I'm just not interested. <laughs> it's not interesting at all. Alright. I'm sorry I had to ban you, but I've warned you so many times. Please keep the chat in general in English. Little shoutouts are fine. General chat. I, yeah, it's impossible to moderate it. Can't be DMing. The Twitch chat is both a public place to speak, but it's also your private messaging me. I consider it all. If you're just spamming private messages in a language, which I don't understand. Sorry. Gonna have to block you.
Um, pretty bad starting hand. <laughs> we just won that early game. Ooh. We got some lag. This, the live stream is lagging. Let me just go check on that. My, my computer might have, like, started an automatic download or something. Let me see. Yeah, I see it's lagging. We're dropping lots of frames here. Now I don't want to concede. Uh, network. Oh, we lag it. It's just my internet. The recording will. Well. Alright, I'm gonna have to cut the YouTube stream out here. Bye, YouTube! Let's see if that fixes it. Um, so this goes on heights, fly around, black hole. That thing's just your axe. Oh, uh, looks like we're good now. It's a really slow thinking cap. What is this gonna be? I wonder if I should be playing it to chop and removal here. I'm just a little bit... I don't know. I just don't know. We haven't had a good shot of playing the, the planet here yet. I think it's still like... This and this. Super. I'm not really sure why he wants a 2 3 to live, but pretty bad use of rock ball. We're gonna do this just for a card. I think it goes here into B Rex. Well, we'll do the B Rex later. Spray, jeez. We get it controlled. La la la. la, la. Yeah, tricksters might be incoming. Yeah. 
So he leaped it. Interesting. Two, four, three, pretty sad leap. Burb. Walnut. Probably good just to spread the love here again. One of these. This. Cool. <sighs> you don't really want to bounce this back, right? <laughs> the bird is the word. I got the bird, 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 the bird in the word. They got bird, 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 the bird in the word. They got the bird. <laughs> Hell yeah. We have a bird that has a new theme song. Oh, I think he just loses here. Oh my gosh, for a control deck. Why did he freeze this instead of freezing the Benassaurus Rex? What a fail. You know what? That whole thing is going in the fail comp now. You, the chat really knows how to get me. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, that was game hate. It's not bird, it's burb. You got that burb, burb, burb. <laughs> Sounds better than burb, actually. Uh, what is this hand? What is the hand? Is this a. We're looking for Captain Cucumber, ideally. The bird dancing will be in the, will be in the fail cup. That was the real fail. It's my cringe. I I really didn't like Family Guy for the longest time. I didn't get it, but I just started seeing like YouTube shorts were getting suggested to me. Now I love Family Guy. <laughs> I finally understand. I guess it was like that too, until you really watch the show, you don't really get it. I, even Rick and Morty, when I at first when I just saw it, I thought it was just gonna be a bunch of poop and fart jokes, but it ended up being a very deep philosophical show. I'd say Family Guy, same exact thing. So he passes turn two against the Black IP. Uh, I think this is worth it for a car. Got that bird, bird, bird. So he can use two tricks just to like make this survive. And what is he? Is Black IP against paparazzi? Feels bad, man. Whatever he does. Okay. <laughs> so it doesn't just bounce. It dies. If it takes lethal damage, it does not bounce back into his hand. So that's fine. You got that bird, 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 bird. Go. Here we go. It's going so slow. I look like Peter Griffin without the glasses. Oh, he actually draws the card. Feels bad, man. Um, um, 
I don't really like the chemist. I don't like it at all. I'm playing this here. Hell yeah. Okay. What else he got, bro? I should have played around Bungie, I'm stupid. At least we killed the chemist, though. I'm stupid, though. I, I really needed that bird in order to win. We don't have anything else. Ugh. Alright, paparazzi, you're dying. <laughs> Joy dying. I need the cards. Go back! <laughs> Pete Mom's best control card. Oh, Brain Anna, now we're talking. Now we talking, folks. Beam me up. Beam me up. Uh, sure. Hmm? Okay. Yes, we're going face. Don't worry about it. Boys. Hey, we got three plus four. We got repeat loss combo incoming. God damn it. Give the man. Give the man. Okay, we're going to go for it next turn. Here's the play. We'll proc the block, and we will kill him with a giant massive repeat monster. God, oh, no, doesn't, doesn't die. Doesn't die, I don't care. Blocks? Imagine blocking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think it's still good. Because we really do... We're doing four bonus attacks here. And he already used backup day while well, he could get summoning. Come on, Repeat Moss, make me proud. No, even if he gets right. Even if he gets summoning, we still win. Got him. Ah, we doubled the, the health of Repeat Moss. So happy now. Summoning them don't, don't do a damn thing. You don't do a damn thing. What could it be? What, what, what could it be? That. <laughs> that's. <laughs> That is close. <laughs> I got that bird, bird, bird. We could also just blind food the uh, brain nana there, but it's way cooler. Whee! Second one, got him. <laughs> Hell yeah! He didn't want Ah, repeat monster has really been the star today. Come on, guys. We won three games with a repeat boss, at least. Favorite Family Guy character? Stewie, of course. What kind of question is that? Obviously. Uh, I think Double Black IP is good against this. Imp. Only hero we've lost to today. The answer is yes, by the way. All I'm trying to say is... Bird is the word. Why is the... Delay still going? Okay, very nice. Very nice indeed. Get controlled, bitch. Lance, what? 52% of you voted yes. Hell yeah. I always vote yes, guys. <laughs> it's actually a really good egg, but... The fail. Swashbuckler's such a bad card, because look, it dies free trade. So clearly, in all situations, it's bad. Uh, that's a really good Captain Cucumber, because if he deals with it, the Black IP is a big problem. Does he have also a fruitcake? No. Every day I'm conjuring. Every day I'm cool. We got some free stuff happening in the live stream here. Every day I'm, every day I'm, every day I'm, wow. Just wow. Um, should I Bananasaurus Rex still? Probably just let the cucumber die. I think this is fine. 
Uh, we'll also play this because it draws extra beans. It also procs the block, which we want to happen this turn. So, nice fire rooster, bro. Too slow. The freeze is really good with, like, a second B-Rex. Oh, gosh. I got Gatling? Wait. This isn't a P, is it? No, it's only a B. Oh, we have a P in hand. Guys, we have Gatling. <laughs> I think this is good. And he got perfect infinity clones. What do you ner? Oh, we have this P. I, we have two P. We have a one cost P in hand. Oh my gosh. I was spacing out. I mean, well, let's see how much he commits here. I think if he commits less, we go for the Banana Star Strikes play. We'll do this like next turn. It's so cool though. We should be playing around Deadly, right? It's our priority. Our prerogative. Okay, here we go. We'll do it next turn for the win. God damn, we got some stonk. We got all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> this, is, this is broken. Does the fruitcake make you reconsider playing Valtrix or Hyper in the tournament? The main reason I went away from that is because everyone, first of all, were, was using decks that countered it against me, but they were anyway also just using a lot of Forget Me Nots and Black Eyed Peas and Guardian, and, you know, Triceratops, which is. Uh, it's not a it's not a great matchup for for Pop Trickster Hybrid. All right, guys. After a um, <laughs> very interesting stream, Repeat Moss OP, guys. Let's go. We got nine and one. Somehow, some way, we got it with this deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. That was the Conjure the Repeat Moss combo, and it worked. Kind of. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. This is Fry.